Don't lead Sentinel back here. Lives are at stake. You ready for your personal tour of Erewhon? Just don't forget to swing by the gift shop. Never. <laughs> bang, bang! <laughs> Now, the naval station closed down years ago. Who are these kids? The birds and the bees, Nomad. We've got three generations living on this island. If I can be blunt, I don't like you soldiers being here. It puts these kids at risk. But my old man bleeds red, white, and blue, so we'll never turn our backs on you. I can sort you out if you need any gear or supplies. You and your troops can bivouac over there. If you really get to feel froggy, you can talk to Sergeant Rowan Brown. He used to be Kiwi SAS. He likes scouting around the island for those elite troops. They call themselves wolves. Rowan likes picking fights with them. And over in our war room, we're working on our own logistics. You can usually find Mads in there. There's a Skeltic engineer, Jericho, hanging around. She's worried about something big on another island. You might need to bring some friends with you on that picnic. So like I said, we will never turn our backs on you, but you better not do anything to put this community in danger. Oh, I think you've got a hunch it's already in danger. But don't worry. I'll do my best to keep all of you safe. Let's hope it's enough. I need to be brought up to speed on the situation here. Hell, I don't know much. We try to stay away from what goes on on the other side of the island. But lately, things have just gotten so you can't ignore it anymore. What's been happening? Try to remember every detail you can. Let's see. I guess it all started when the Skell headquarters was bombed. After that, everything changed. They brought in the security company, Sentinel. They were supposed to keep everything safe. But then it all went to shit. You mean Skell went missing? Missing? They said terrorists kidnapped him. You believe that? Hell no. They're making all that stuff up. Why would they do that? I have no idea. The only thing I can say for sure is ever since he went missing, Sentinel got a lot more aggressive. They're looking everywhere for Skell. They want him bad. Listen, I'm gonna need to gear up, but I didn't exactly bring much cash on this trip. If you're asking for money, I can't help you. Wish I could, but look, I need to buy my stock, and with things as they are... Don't worry. I'll find a way to get what I need. Just tell me what people use to buy things on Aurora. Well, the good news is, everyone takes American dollars and New Zealand dollars. But they're pretty rare. Most people use something called Screds. It's some kind of computer money Skeltech came up with. Cryptocurrency, I think they call it. You can buy things with it just like regular money. Bunch of hooey, if you ask me. What do I need to access it? Oh, it's everywhere. It's virtual, you see? You can find it on just about any computer, or cell phones, or data pads. Hell, even the drones and relay antennas can get them. They're floating all around in signals or some such thing. Well, then I guess I'll be making some withdrawals. I'll see you around. You be safe out there. Yes, ma'am. What's the best way to customize my weapons around here? Well, let's see. You're probably going to want a new scope, a couple of rail attachments, some bigger magazines, maybe even a new suppressor. Huh. You know your stuff. When we came out here, we were planning to survive. Do you have anything you can sell me? I don't have much, but you can take a look. I'll sell you what I can. If you need something I don't have, you can rummage through any military crates you stumble across. The more Sentinel Corp guns guarding them, the more likely you'll be interested in what they're keeping inside. I like the way you think.
I've got all the best stuff.
Don't be afraid. Do you happen to know any information about this? I've told you what I have. Appreciate your help. Are you Chief? Who wants to know? Name's Nomad. A couple of your friends said you were looking to investigate all of the drone activity around the mountain. Sure am. I'm fed up, and I can't stand it no more. The drones came in slowly at first, but now there are flocks of them. I can't have my friends being put in danger like that. Heaven forbid they get killed or whatever. So, you were putting together a posse to investigate. I was going to, but it looks like you're far better equipped to deal with drones than I am. Hell, you might even be able to figure out what the deal is with that infernal siren sound. I suppose I could take a look. Anything else I should know before I go? Yeah. I ain't the first one who thought about heading up there. A few homesteaders have already wandered off that way. If you see them... Just make sure they're safe and such. Sure. Now just point me in the direction of that mountain. Oh, sure thing. It's just west of here. Basically, keep going until you see Fortune Lake cascading down into the valley. Got it. Thank you.
We must have got him. There's nothing else moving out here. No sign of anyone, but I think we're good. I don't know, man. Let's keep at it. Just because we don't see them doesn't mean they're not here. Shot! 
Scouts! Watch for hostiles! I need a threat.
I hope it's a little quieter around here now. Sure as hell is. I can finally hear myself think for once. What was the deal? Somebody set up a drone training exercise right in your backyard, complete with a maze and everything. Somehow, the antenna and receiver running the system got damaged. It let out a high-pitched frequency that summoned all the drones to it. Now I took care of the problem, so you should feel a whole lot safer now. We sure do. Thank you for everything, Nomad. My weapons aren't going to cut it as is. What's wrong with them? They're old, worn out. I need to keep pace with our enemies. Hmm. Well, you can always upgrade your weapon to a higher quality mark. All you need are the right weapon parts. We have to build everything for ourselves out here. We've got people that could fabricate you just about anything. Self-reliant. I like it. You know, you could find parts and materials by dismantling other weapons. They're chock full of stuff. Well, I'll have to see what I can find then. Lucky you found this place. Rowan Brown knew about this place for a while. We figured sacred ground always makes good sanctuary. That's pretty damp, though. It's still a work in progress, all right? We've managed to stay under the radar so far. With all of you, our people, a bunch of Skeltech employees. I don't think you've got room to complain. Hey, I'm not complaining. This place is great. It'd be a pretty island without all the military contractors and killer drones. Used to be. I'd get some leave and just walk. I'd spend whole weeks just walking around with a pack on my shoulder. 
Uh, well, I'm probably getting my share of Sicene. These islands have changed hands so much, it's like a time capsule. I keep telling myself, one day, I'll get back out there, just see it all again before I'm too old to make the trip. Then again, who knows how far I'd get now. You don't look like Skeltech employees. No. I used to be a Marine at the Naval Station here. Some of the folks you see, like Maria, my old lady, they lived on the station with their families. When the Navy shut the place down in the 90s, a few of us stayed and homesteaded. We worked a long time to make a place for ourselves on Aroa. And now, you're in Sentinel's way. Most of my people are holing up here for now. I ain't been home in a dog's age, but I'll stand by any man or woman in green. You soldiers can stay as long as you don't cause trouble. And you lend a hand. We appreciate it. I'll talk to you later. See ya. How's your pal? Holding up. Thanks for looking after him. You heard anything about a Lieutenant Colonel Walker? That the guy that works with the troops call themselves the Wolves? Used to be Skeltech's military advisor. Heard he was an operator. You know him? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we met a couple times. You got a mean look in your eye. You got big plans? You know how I can get off this island? Right. And leave us regular folk to fend for ourselves, huh? Auckland is 2,000 kilometers away. It's an awful long way to run with your tail between your legs. I'm not running, Mads. The USS Wasp is a couple dozen clicks off the coast. If I can get there, I can come back here with some help. The Wasp, huh? Not sure I'm fond of the idea of a bunch of squids running around our island. <sighs> well, there are a couple of jarheads on board, too. Well, if that's the case... Look, I'll be straight with you. We know that we're no match for former spec ops. So some of our friends, homesteaders and Skell employees both, are leaving the island on a couple of boats. Can you get them protection on the Wasp? Absolutely. All right. I'll tell you where the boats are. Also, Mary needs some repairs on her fence, and I think the school could use a hand today as well, so if you're free, stop on over and help. I'm sure they'd appreciate it.
Don't hurt us. Please. I'm not gonna hurt anyone. Mad Schultz sent me. You don't look like homesteaders. Well, I worked... I work uh, for Skeltech. Mads is a friend. When Sentinel started arresting people, he helped us out. Why did he send you? A chopper got to this island from a Navy ship just a few dozen clicks off this coast. I can get these bolts back to that ship, then I can come back here with help. <laughs> well, <laughs> certainly sounds better than taking a boat all the way to Auckland. <laughs> what happened to your chopper? I'm still working that out. You leave it someplace? <laughs> yeah. Maurice Fox. This is my daughter, Harmony. It's nice to meet you. Call me Nomad. You know, we, we met another soldier. He said his name was, um, Hill. Josiah Hill? Is he here? No. Uh, he helped us get around some of Sentinel's men, but he was injured. Well, uh, not, not, not badly. Uh, we left him at this uh, fishing building area thing. I actually think I know what you're talking about. I'll pick him up after I get back. Take cover! What the hell was that? Give me a minute. My God. Those people. It, it, it must be a, a, a new security programmer. Holy flying cow. My guess is, my guess is nothing could come to or leave this island as long as it's on. That must be what brought down my chopper. I want to go home. Me too, kiddo. Listen, you have to get these people, and you have to get out of here. What? No one is coming to save you, and there's no ambulance on the way. You have to run. You have to get to Air One. OK, yes, yeah. Uh, are you coming with us? I'm gonna find my friend Hill. That fishing building you left him at was a fallback point. There may be other soldiers. Good luck. 